Hello there Libra and happy birthday. It's your birthday month. If you already had it in September, happy birthday. So let's see what's in store for you for your birthday month. Um, this month I also did something a little different and I made a video of just, just that pure energy that I'm getting from the month of October for everybody. So energetically and more in detail with the astrology of the month. So I would suggest you listen to that little video too, as well as your sign. And this month I'm encouraging everybody to start to learn your rising sign and your moon sign. If you don't know, you can go to astro.com, put in all your information, and it's going to tell you all your planets, for sure your moon sign. And if you don't know your birth time, you can still do it and get your planets. And if you do know your birth time, then you will get your rising sign. And then it's good to listen or read all three, because somewhere between all three of them, you're going to get something accurate for the month. All right, so just burning our sage. Just imagine that all around you. All the patterns it's making, it's very nice. All right, so let's take a look at your cards. All right, so your first card is the Five of Wands. Second card, King of Swords. Third card, Six of Cups. Look how pretty that card is. All right, so you start off the month with a little bit of uh, friction or a conflict, perhaps. Five of Wands is when there's too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many people trying to weigh in, trying to fight for the top dog, too many people wanting their ego needs stroked, too many, we should do it this way, kind of, too many, too much. Now, then that means that people feel that no one's listening or no one's understanding and they get grumpy. Sometimes the Five of Wands leads to a fight, um, but certainly it, it's a breakdown of morale. It's a breakdown of a group or... Um, Something that just isn't working. The King of Swords, who knows? King of Swords could sometimes be the culprit. Sometimes he's he's just a very clever man who can be sometimes too clever, meaning sometimes they can be manipulative, controlling, um, very good with their words and, you know, with being strategic so they can hide things or... Or sometimes, um, in his best aspect, he would be very fair and, and extremely intelligent and fair and impartial. So you have to see which of the two is around you. Um, and the pleasure card at the end is good because somehow this uh, conflict is going to sort of lead to you moving on or somebody else leaving a group or detaching or it could be you and um, it's putting something in it in or someone in its place that's what I'm hearing and um, there will be more harmony when when somebody is removed mm-hmm so as I said, sometimes the King of Swords might be the problem. He might be who needs to be removed. Or he could be the, the, the one who's a little more just and strong, and he could be the one removing somebody or helping with that process. But the happy thing is that you end off with the pleasure card. And that means that there's people come back. Um, some people will maybe might be staying away from you or from a from this group or um, because they can sense the tension and then when this person is removed or the conflict is resolved somehow it's like the six of cups is like oh 
we can just feel everything again. We can just let our guard down and we can just open up and we can bond again and we can just enjoy ourselves again. So there's people could come out of the woodwork um, and suddenly talk to you, you know, about how they've been feeling all along or opening up and sharing. And you can also do the same. It's, it's really good. There's so don't be worried about whatever this conflict is. I know Libras hate conflicts, but really don't try to be worried about that. Whatever needs, whatever needs to dissolve or whoever needs to go needs to go. It'll bring a greater harmony for the, for the greater good for more people than just the one who, who isn't working out so well could be two I mean it doesn't have to be just one but you know who I mean as I'm talking I'm sure people are coming to your mind as I'm talking you trust that and explore that so if you would like a longer reading if uh, if you're going through a scenario like this I can help you uh, you can reach me on my website river-rain.com or you can reach me on Facebook at clairvoyant medium Catherine Allen I hope you have a good month and a very nice birthday